This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the halogeno alkanes. Let's start with a general formula for a halogeno alkane, which is Cn H2n plus 1x, where x is a halogen atom. Next, we look at some examples of halogeno alkanes. Our first example is iodoethane, which contains an iodine atom. Next is 1-chloropropane, which contains a chlorine atom. And finally, we have 2-bromobutane, which contains a bromine atom. Halogenoalkanes undergo substitution nucleophilic reactions. That's the replacement of one atom by another atom or group. Because the halogen is more electronegative than the carbon atom, we have a polar bond. The halogen has a partial negative charge and the carbon has a partial positive charge. Therefore, the carbon atom is electron deficient. Next, we look at nucleophiles. Nucleophiles are electron-rich species that contain a lone pair of electrons that it donates to an electron deficient carbon. Here we have an example of a nucleophile. This is the hydroxide ion. It has three lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen atom and an overall negative charge. The hydroxide ion, which is a nucleophile, is attracted to the electron deficient carbon in the halogenoalkane, which you can see here. Next, we'll have a quick look at the mechanism of the reaction. Here we have the hydroxide ion, which is a nucleophile. The nucleophile is attracted to the electron deficient carbon in the halogenoalkane. The chlorine atom breaks off from the molecule, forming a chlorine ion. And the hydroxide ion bonds to the molecule, forming an alcohol. Here we have the overall equation for the reaction. We have chloromethane reacting with sodium hydroxide to form methanol and sodium chloride. And the conditions for the reaction are warm with aqueous sodium hydroxide. So let's have a look at one more example. In this equation, we have one bromopropane reacting with sodium hydroxide to form propanol and sodium bromide. So we have a primary halogenoalkane forming a primary alcohol. So let's end with a quick review. Halogenoalkanes react with alkalis such as sodium hydroxide to form alcohols. The hydroxide ion behaves as a nucleophile. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.